What's going on, guys? Declaration. Brian. What's going on, peeps? And today, remember what I said about this? Yeah. So, this little buddy right here, if you look, is a little deflated in the back. So... We're going to take some ratchet straps and ratchet down the front suspension so it's the same height. Boom! No, we're not doing that, Brian. Stance Nation. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Yeah. So, uh... And this car's already been sold, so we got to fix it. <laughs> so... Uh, Maybe not Stance Nation. Yeah, we're not going to say sanction it. It's, we're, we're actually going to fix it. Uh, I'm going to show you guys, um, if Equus owners, if you don't want to deal with the bag situation, we did a nice little alternative.
Welcome back, guys. What up, peeps? I'm Brian. So, how bad was it? Not horrible. Yeah, not horrible. Just some random, why would you stick this bolt in this place? More so on the front than on the back. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. But yeah, let's show you guys kind of what goes into it. So, you see that plate right there? That whole plate has to come out just to undo the top part. And the bottom's just like normal. So, it's just, you got a sway bar link and you got a bottom bolt. That's pretty simple. Because that, that's what came out. That's what came out. So... The rear is what actually failed. We suspect this one was failed because it was completely deflated when we jacked the car up. But same thing, you have a spring perch and then you have the shock, two bolts on the top, pretty simple. Let's see if you can kind of see. Yeah, there's two bolts up there, it's pretty easy. You don't have to go into the trunk for anything. And we just replaced the springs. All in all, not bad. We're going to, uh, Brian's going to play with the bad bag. <laughs> but, no, right now, I'm going to put the wheels on, put it back on the ground, and you guys, uh, we'll show you guys how it um, sits. Welcome back, guys. Brian. What's up, peeps? How's it look? Looks pretty good. So, should we show them? Yeah, why not? All right, we'll show you guys. Look at that. So the front looks like the same, but the back, look at that. That. We are no longer sitting on the bump stops. You are not sitting on the bump stops, and we're not, we don't have a Carolina squat anymore, which, Brian, Carolina squats, we, we no. can't have that. There, there, is, there is one guy that drives through the, that side of the neighborhood it's got I think it's like a it's either an exploder or an expedition. Oh jeez. That is 35 degree, 35, 40 degree angle. Oh jeez. Not quite sure how he sees out of the front, but hey. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy. Well one thing we do have to do, which is paramount, is this bad boy needs an alignment. I can already tell where the way the tires are sitting right now that it probably needs an alignment but when you pull apart your suspension on any car get an alignment and that right Brian that is right so other than that minus an alignment and we are going to wire up that thing but as you see it's dark out I'm tired I'm tired so it did come with the um, delete with kit. The delete kit for the um, wiring for the suspension light, which is common with these. Like it, when you take away the air suspension, it's going to have a suspension warning light. So we got the delete kit for that as well. It's four wires that need to get crimped on into into the trunk. Really, really simple. But yes, but we're going to call that a wrap. Uh, I don't even, is that even worth showing? Oh, we can just show them just for if there's any Hyundai people with these airbag suspension things. That oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You might want to do this in the future. We'll so, throw some tags on there so if you search for it later. Yes. And don't watch all our other videos of us organizing the shop. <laughs> You'll see how to change out the airbag suspension on your Hyundai. That is true. Your... All right. I'm going to call that a wrap. Take it easy, peeps. Have a good one, guys. Peace.